G'day and welcome to NZFBC Ground Station. Today's video is uh, something uh, different. Um, basically what we've got here, we've got an ESC, a motor, an old uh, receiver back from your granddad years, and a servo. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, is I thought what we're going to do is this, we'll, we'll make an airboat. So we're going to make one out of foam board, cheap as anything. So let's get on with the um, body building process. Right, here's the material that we're making out our airboat with. Um, it's basically just um, uh, foam board and we'll just put some markings on there. So what I'm going to do is cut out the pieces that I marked and then we can glue them together with normal glue, with um, hot glue. Now that we've got our base shape all cut it out, um, it's time to glue all the edges together to make our bottom half. Now we're starting on the top side, um, I've also got the post mounted for the motor and um, the post needs to be cut down a bit because I've made it a bit too high so we, what I'm going to do is put another side in and we'll make up a hatch for our radio gear so our radio gear is going to go into here with the battery and the motor is going to sit on top here so we're going to cover, once this is all completed we're going to cover it with this stuff here which is a book cover to make it a little bit watertight we're up to the final stage of this build. Um, what I've done is I've reinforced it with fiberglass tape and then we're starting to cover it up as you can see there. So now we'll cover it up and then we'll see what it looks like. Now I'm starting to put in the stabiliser under the bottom <coughs> which is just chopsticks. Um, we'll put uh, three in, one in the middle all the way through and one on the um, and one halfway through. What that does is it gives a little bit of stability so it doesn't go all over the place and when it goes forward. And then it's covered up with um, fiberglass tape. Now that we've covered up our um, airboat, it's time to install the motor and assembly. So we're going to get down to installing, um, setting up the motor before installing the airboat. Here comes the motor part. We're going to mount the motor <coughs> on an old um, uh, box unit that came from a um, three-axis gimbal that I no longer need the parts for. So what we've done, what I've done is I've screwed the um, motor onto the edge of the box, and then on the servo, with our bottom plate, um, we'll focus that on. Um, um, on the bottom plate there which will slide back to all together and I put a longer screw in there so it hold down tight so that will give us our deflection for the um, thrust so we're not going to use a rudder we're just going to use motor diversion deflection to steer the um, RC airboat and this is our motor mount <coughs> all complete so we can divert the motor, just, it's just mounted onto the top of the servo and we just mount the motor on, onto the airboat. Now that we've got everything installed, I've got the radio gear installed, uh, which is tucked underneath here. So all I need to do is make up a, a hatch, so we can just put the hatch on and take it off. So we can put the battery in and then cover up the battery. Bit of an overkill on the lights, um, we're just going to put some more lights on this um, airboat and we can actually uh, do it at night time and also be a lot more effective in the snow. And here it is at night time with this red and blue LEDs flashing. And of course, <coughs> this is done by Odino uh, board which I made up ages ago, um, I put it on the RC car and took it all off and sold the RC car so I retained the board, so which can go into the sea boat now. And here is the strip lights I put around the boat. Um, we've got white at the front and red around the side and the rear of the boat, so it's more effective at night time. Radio, we've got the cover for our radio gear, which is just a plastic cover for an old uh, dish, you know, food dish and that. Um, what I've done is I painted red on top, and underneath I put some Velcro to secure it onto the, um, onto the uh, airboat there. And also what I've done is like a little bit of foam rubber, um, I put it around the edges just to give it a little bit of um, 
uh, watertight so it just stops the burst splash getting into the um, radio um, gear and that's the air boat with the hatch on um, it's all ready to go for its first uh, test run um, which will be done in the next video so hopefully um, that will show you how to build a simple airboat and stay tuned for the, for the next video. Bye for now.